Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CowWhispersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Ooh, today we're playing with the So Sentimental Bundle, So Sentimental Stamp Set, and the awesome Stitch So Sweetly dies. I love the dies. Now, here is a card I created that I think is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Your friendship is a blessing on the inside. Embossed, I can't thank you enough. And I also used, for both the front layer of the card and the Whisper White layer, the absolutely Argyle 3D embossing folder. This is new, as are the So Sentimental Bundle. And we're going to change it up just a little bit today, and we're going to make a masculine version of this, all right? So, as always, in the top of the eye and below in the description, you're going to find links back to my blog post with all the measurements and the supplies for this card. So, no worries about writing anything down. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, my card base is Knight of Navy. And when I used my Absolutely Argyle embossing folder, what I did was I took, and you'll see right here, you have this very, very small area where it's not going to emboss. So, I simply brought my scored card base in, put that score line right there. Then I closed it up and ran the entire thing through, all right? That's how I got it embossed all the way to the edge. So you wanna do that first. Then I also took my Whisper White. Do you not love that Argyle look? And this is a masculine card, but it looks fabulous if you want to do it for a more feminine type card. So I've got the Whisper White done as well. So we can set that aside. And let's bring in our scrap pieces. I will tell you we're using the Clubhouse, Country Clubhouse, I believe was what it's called. But I'll have that in the link, a designer series paper. Love that. That's going to be this piece right here. And I'm going to leave this rectangle off this time, and you'll see why. So, you know I keep all my scraps. This night of navy stitched, I ended up not using on a card. So, we're going to go ahead, and it will work just perfect for my I can't thank you enough. So, let's just go ahead. I use my embossing buddy on it. Now I'm just inking up my stamp with my Versamark and I'm just kind of getting it in the center there. Got a good impression. Bringing in my white embossing powder. And I'm doing all this before I emboss or before I die cut actually. So I've got plenty of latitude to make sure that I'm, I'm not having to line it up perfectly straight on the die cut. This way I've got some flexibility. So let's get our handy dandy cardboard with foil on it and our clothespins. And I'm gonna heat emboss this and I'll speed it up. All right, that foil helps heat from the back which helps speed it up if you're wondering. Now, I just do love how the white pops off of that Knight of Navy. Now, for our stitched So Sweetly dies, I need this for my garden green and this for my sentiment. So, let me cut both of those real quick and I will be right back. Okay, 
We've got those cut. Of course, I used my Scotch removable tape so it wouldn't shift around on me. Let's put our dies away so we don't misplace them. You know how that is. So we've got both of those elements done. Now we need to do just a little bit of assembling. So let's bring in our Whisper White and our Garden Green layer. You can use your adhesive of choice, the multi-purpose liquid glue, the Tombow works great for this, if that's what you would like to use. People often ask me, how do you make sure you get your center layer? If you cut your paper in quarter inches or eighth inches, if when you're putting it down, if this edge and this edge and this edge all look symmetrical, then it should be the symmetrical down here as well. Now I'm gonna put this layer directly on this and line that up, making sure I kind of get it centered. Centered and straight is good. So we've got that done. Now, we'll put this layer down. And I want to make sure I have it going the correct direction. It's just off the top a smidge. Actually, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit because I'm leaving that one layer off. So let's bring it down just a smidge. Put that on there. And then I'm going to use the Country Club Twine. And I'm using the Knight of Navy because this is a masculine card. So it's got the garden green, the red, and the basic black. So I want to put that down here. So I might as well just go ahead and get my adhesive all the way around. And snip off where they've taped that for me. So by bringing this down, I know exactly where I want to go. So I'm just going to put, start it here. I'm going to come at a diagonal, come over, okay. I'm going to come back come over and just like that, okay? I think that gives a little more of a masculine look. <clears throat> and then I want to bring my adhesive back over the top. You know, I like to do that for some extra security. Now we're gonna put this on our card base. And even though you can just see the edges of that argyle on that card base, trust me when I tell you in person, it makes a nice added element. It really does. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. And you know, I'm a fan of putting one in the middle so it doesn't collapse when you send it in the mail. Let's grab our take your pick tool and just flick those backs off. I think it missed that one. I want to want to be stubborn, so let's just pull it off. And we're gonna line that up right there in the center, both up, down, and left and right. I have my holiday jewels here and I'm going to take my take your pick tool to putty in and push off two of the navy rhinestones. See how you can still bling it up just a little bit but keep it masculine looking and then my last element is going to be i'm going to bring in my garden green and i'm doing that because this is my inside layer and because it's surrounded by my knight of navy cardstock i'm going to stamp this in green so let's see if we can get that straight by using our grid paper holding our mouse right and see what we get hey 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 we did good that done. 
We're going to put that right here on the inside. Like such. And there you go. What do you think? Do you not love the So Sentimental bundle? Includes the So Sentimental stamp set. Look at all these fabulous greetings. And the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And then, don't forget, we also used the new 3D Absolutely Argyle embossing folder. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.